Dramatic video shows a building up in flames Saturday night. The fire was at the Chateau Country Club in Kenner. I couldn't believe this video when they posted it. Investigators were on scene this morning, and today we're getting a look at the aftermath and learning more about what happened. Lily Cummings is joining us now in the studio. Do they have any idea what started the fire? Katie, at this point, they don't, but Kenner's fire chief did tell me that they don't have any reason to suspect foul play. And once their investigation is complete, he says that they will be able to pinpoint exactly where it started, and thankfully, no one was hurt. An eyewitness shared this video with us. And heard some noise and looked over and we could see a flame coming out of the cart shed. So we immediately called 911. It happened Saturday evening around 8.30. We ended up bringing the fire under control about 20 minutes into it, which was relatively good uh, because we didn't have the potential any further spread from the fire. Kenner Fire Chief Terrence Morris says his investigators have called in the ATF and Louisiana State Fire Marshal's office to assist with the investigation. The country club says about 70 golf carts were inside the shack, plus drink carts, the device that picks up balls on the driving range, and merchandise. Assuming the building's a total loss, uh, but I can't put a value on it yet. The country club was hosting several events, which meant the parking lot was packed. The cars parked closest to the shack were scored. In this video, you can hear a loud popping that some witnesses said sounded like an explosion. A lot of times those uh, autos, when they are involved, the tires will blow out. And that's what people tend to hear. And that could have been anything from a fuel can inside the storage or some battery. Now the club is working to get golfers rolling again on the green. I don't know how long, but I hope we can come back bigger and better. And that's, that's the plan. Well, the general manager says tomorrow they will be walking only and they're working with surrounding golf courses to get some temporary carts and they'll be setting up beverage stations for members as well. Katie. All right. Thank you, Lily.